Bless the Lord, O my soul, blessed are the Lord. This is the second week of the Lenten fast, 40 days where we go without dairy, without meat, without fish. And a lot of people think, oh no, how am I going to get through this? They don't like it. Some people even go so far as to start using foods that are vegan, but not uh, the real thing. And they decide, oh, I can't do without my pizza, so I'll have a vegan vegetarian pizza, or I'll have a vegan burger. Well, that's really all right. But there's something more about fasting than the kind of food we're eating or not eating. The period of Great Lent is a time when we empty ourselves and ask God to fill us with his presence. So when we give up certain foods, it's not about the food so much as it's about making way for the Lord. There's something else about fasting that a lot of people don't think about, but which is also very important. We are also called to abstain from judging others, to abstain from giving over to the pleasures of this life. Cutting out television shows that we really like is a good example. Limiting our time on the internet is another good way to enter into the great Lenten fast giving up things that we really like to do, but that we want to have a set aside for the benefit of our journey into the heart of God. The crescendo, if you will, is Pascha, the resurrection of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's a, an exciting goal us to approach Pascha after this Lenten fast because it's in Pascha that we are experiencing not only Christ's resurrection, but as members of the body of Christ, our own eventual resurrection from the dead. So let's take this time seriously. Let's not see it as a time of deprivation but as a time of joy. It is the Lenten sorrow. It is the joyful sorrow. We're joyful that we have a relationship with Christ and we are journeying together as members of the body of Christ to the Paschal celebration of the resurrection. But it's also a sad time as we stand before God in repentance becoming even more aware of our own shortcomings, our own faults, our own proclivities to judging other people. Let's stop doing that. Let's judge only ourselves during this Lenten journey and focus on Christ. We're doing this together, my friends. We're doing this together. So let's hold each other up with our prayers and with our love, joining hands together on this journey. May God bless us all. If you have found this content to be a blessing, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. and Son and Immortal Word of God.